Hi there guys, Liam from the Bowling Games Unite here and today I want to talk about the little uh, MacBook Pro here. So I'm sure you've seen on our previous videos that Sean and I have been talking about the new MacBook Pro with the M1 shipping and then eventually I decided to go out and buy one so I'm going to give you a little rundown of what I like and what I dislike about it and yeah, let's see how it goes. First of all, dis the main dislike, let's not face it, the cost. It is crazy expensive. One thousand. I got this for one thousand one hundred pounds. Um, it's usually one thousand three hundred, so I saved two hundred pound off there. But yeah, but you do get what you pay for. So although Apple have made it so you can't customize it, put more RAM in or another SSD, it's still very good for some money. And that is the only negative about it. No, it's not. I've lied. One of negative I don't like, and I'll zoom in later, is these little corners here. And the edge. It's like it's designed to just cut your hands if you use it for too long. So, Sean did mention that the air has a slight wedge to it, which which would be a bonus. Um, but apart from that, those are the only dislikes. Now, things that I really like. I love how it integrates with all of the Apple products. So... I'm filming this off my iPhone 12. I'm just gonna uh, drop it over. That's nothing special. You could have done that ages ago. If I have any browser open on the phone on Safari, I can continue on the MacBook. If I have, if I copy something on my phone, I can paste on the MacBook. Little things like that just blow my mind. I love the little fingerprint reader to unlock the MacBook when I want to. However, when wearing my Apple Watch, also it unlocks it for me because I'm wearing the watch, which just blew my mind when I found that out. Absolutely crazy. Another thing I really about, like about my MacBook is that I can use Sidecar, so I can use my iPad as a second screen seamlessly, and it, it blew my little mind when I could do that. So I'm gonna have a little go. Um, I've not used it yet properly. When I'm filming more videos, editing more stuff, it'll probably come into hand. Oh my goodness. Click that button there. Connect to Liam's iPad. And there we go, we have a second screen. So like I said, I don't actually use it that much right now. However, it will probably be quite handy in the future. So let's see how that goes. Now, the main thing I'm gonna use a MacBook for, I'm gonna use it for editing videos. So this will be the first video I edit. So let's see how that goes. And I'll do a video on that afterwards. And more, it's gonna be more of a production thing, I believe. So I'm gonna eventually use it as my streaming PC so my gaming PCs, literally just gaming, run everything else through the Mac. So I'll do a video on that in a bit and we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it'll be really good. I'm really looking forward to that. Some of the things which I really do like on the map is the App Store. So you can download some apps which will work on your phone onto this. So I've got Acast downloaded. So whenever I want to download, listen to a podcast, anything like that, I can listen to it on Acast and it continues on the phone, things like that. Also, the touch bar, I know some people are a bit humming and hawing about it. I absolutely love it. I think it's mint. So you can, it changes for every screen you're on and you can use that to press OK, continue, backwards, volume, anything you want. It's very adaptive. I think if someone programmed it worse, it would be very frustrating. But as it is now, I think it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, watch out. I'll be doing more videos on MacBook Pro, I'm trying to use it as a streaming PC do more video editing, do more music editing, and just having a general play around with it. So, you know, come back, have a little watch, and then I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and yeah, we will see you very soon. Toodle-poo.